what's going on everyone my name is hdk and welcome to the channel in today's video i'll be showing you the best possible settings for you to play on for mortal kombat 1 this tutorial is going to be a short one so remember to drop a like on the video if you found this any bit helpful getting right into this you would want to go down to your control settings scroll all the way down and look at these settings right here for input window timing you would want to keep it at the default settings which is long this setting dictates your special move window and allows you to input them slower and still have your special moves come out next you're going to want to make sure release check is set to off this is because having release check on could make buttons that you didn't fully input come out at unwanted times the best explanation of this that i can provide is say you're using kenshi and you use one four into back forward three you press four at the end of your string to start inputting your back forward for the special but since you input four and we're still pressing it while inputting the back forward for your special the game sees it as oh they input back forward and then let go of four so back forward four is going to come out instead of your back forward three so just to have more precision on your inputs you're going to want to turn release check off next you're going to want to make sure that your alternate controls are set to off this is because if you have this on you're going to need to input a diagonal input for your special moves to come out for example if you look at my special moves you can see that i'm pressing down back then one and my special move isn't coming out but once i press down down back and back my special move comes out this setting makes your special moves require more precision which is what you really don't want in the middle of a combo having alternate controls off and having input shortcuts on make special moves much easier to perform as stated in this settings description special moves require less directional precision so turning your alternate controls off and having your input shortcuts to on makes things much easier for button shortcuts you would want to turn this on this makes it so you're able to press the same input multiple times and still have it come out and lastly for controller vibration you would of course want this off and now on to the movement for those who are beginners there's a way to closing distance faster than just regular forward dashing and this movement is called wave dashing to keep it simple wave dashing is just dash canceling to keep things simple wave dashing is just dash canceling and it's actually quite simple to perform the easiest way to do this is just to forward dash and then press the block button but if you want to do it one after the other the easiest way to do it is to forward dash immediately hold the block button then forward dash again and then immediately hold the block button if your opponent is not the full screen's length away you should be able to close the distance with just two but now say if you're using a character and you just knocked your opponent all the way back to full screen you would have to input the wave dash multiple Multiple times for you to close the distance fully if my opponent is at full screen and you need to close the distance the best way i found to closing the distance at full screen is to do two full wave dash inputs and then press forward block forward block since you already used the wave dash twice it's going to let you wave dash without having to press the full dash again what i mean is you won't have to dash forward in between every interval you'll just be able to tap forward one time and then block and then you'll do another wave dash from full screen it should look something like this The easiest way to practice this is to go into training mode, scroll down to practice settings, go down to fighter position, set this to any reset position you want, but make sure the reset distance is at full screen. From there, you can practice your wave dashes, and every time you reach your opponent, you can just reset so you can practice it again. Different characters have different speeds for wave dashing, though. For example, Johnny Cage has the fastest wave dash in the game. It just feels like Johnny has the fastest dash animations, which makes it easy for him to move around. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you found this any bit helpful, please remember to leave a like on the video. Video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And remember to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you'll never miss a future video. I'll have a link to my Kenshi character guide on the screen right now, and also a playlist of combo tutorials with various characters. Thank you all for watching this video to the end, and I will see you all in the next one.